Hello. Hello, Gail. Yes. This is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yes. And um, I needed to let you know we're going to be replacing your lawn. Uh, we're going to start tomorrow. We're going to take out all the grass and just replace it with rocks and stuff. It's like landscaping. Wait, all our grass? Yeah, yeah. Front, back, and sides. We're going to... It's to help with the drought so people don't water, water their lawns. Wait a minute. And, so we're not going to have any grass in front of our house? No, it's just going to be rocks. It's going to be really nice rocks, like different shades of brown and white. Um, Wait a minute. I don't want that. Well, no, it, we're doing that to the whole neighborhood. There's not going to be any grass in the, in the neighborhood at all anymore. You're kidding me. Well, it's because of the drought, and a lot of people are watering their lawns, and we can't make them stop. So we're just going to eliminate the problem, which is the grass. Because the grass, it doesn't really do anything. The grass is basically, it's just there to show off. Like, hey, look at my lawn. You know? I know, but who wants to... Well, it actually does have a problem, because I have a dog. Well, the, the who, dog can poop in the rocks, right? Do we not have a choice about this? Because I don't want it. No, we really have... We're doing this for the whole neighborhood. We're gonna, And we're not charging you I anything. I believe this. We're, we're going to... Yeah, you're not going to be charged a thing. We're just going to... I don't care about the charge. I want my grass. I want a lawn. Are you offering to pay for this? You're listening to the Snowplow Show here on Frank Coolmation. We'll call the lords and customers, causing massive aggravation. Roy's not a hobo. He is your host. He drinks for loco with his jelly and Hello everyone, I'm RBCP and you're listening to my show, which is called The Snowplow Show. Today is July 5th, 2016, so I hope you're all still enjoying your fourth. Today our sponsor is Gizmo, so thank you very much Gizmo for being a supporter of the show. The only reason I'm doing a show today is because Gizmo demands it. So here it is, here's your show. I have breaking news from New Mexico. There's ripping someone off and then there's ripping off their roof. The latter happened recently and bizarrely in New Mexico, placing it atop of this week's crop of crazy crimes. It's a theft so bizarre, even police had trouble believing it. Corey Archuelluba says he stepped outside his Albuquerque home Saturday, only to realize that all the shingles on his roof had been torn off and taken away. Neighbors say a work crew in a silver pickup truck with a flatbed trailer had removed the roof over the preceding two days, but nobody knows who they are. And of course, we all know who that is. That's Royco Roofing. Only Royco Roofing messes up things that badly. So way to go, Royco Roofing. And thank you, Lee, for sending me the story from usatoday.com. I can't believe more of you didn't send me that story. That's usually the kind of thing that gets sent to me about a dozen times. But nope, Lee was the only one to send it. Thanks, Lee. Also, an important thing from today, I created a new poll on the Facebook group, which is located at facebook.com slash groups slash goawaypla. The poll is based on a voicemail I got a couple shows ago. I can't remember who the voicemail came from because I'm a horrible person who can't remember who gives me awesome ideas. But the guy in the voicemail wanted to give me challenges, and he was offering to pay me money for each challenge that I could complete, which sounds awesome to me, the whole money aspect of it, but I'm more interested in the challenge part of it. So I would like everyone to go to the Facebook group and vote on the challenge that you want me to do. And if you can think of a better challenge than is on the list, then it's really easy for you to add an option onto the list for me to do. Right now, the options are, number one, uh, wake up a sleeping person by having their spouse go into their room and scream at them. So far, that one has six votes. Uh, The next one down is uh, deliver STD test results to a family and or coworkers. And that's one that somebody submitted apparently just now. I think a guy named Jack did it. And that's a great idea. I would love to do that one. I bet you I could um, call into an office and pretend to be a doctor or something and say, hey, you need to go deliver these test results to so-and-so at their desk or whatever and make them stay on the phone so I can hear the hilarity. Someone else wants me to check their attic for ticks or a coffin. That's weird. Uh, Someone wants me to force them to vote on silly Facebook polls. I kind of feel like that one's directed at me for some reason. 
Uh, there's one, I put this on here, this is from the original ideas. They, this guy wants me to get them to lick a stick of butter or get them to take a bite off of a stick of butter. I wish I could remember who sent that to me in the voicemails, but I'm sure someone will clear it up for me in today's comments area on YouTube or phonelosers.org. Rob K wants me to convince someone that my name is Roy the Rhea. Uh, that's my first name and then my last name is Tarted Boy. So it reads Roy the Retarded Boy. What a dumb idea. And Ben, he wants me to get someone to recite a verse of the Quran or convert someone to Islam. And I kind of think I won't have much luck with that one, but who knows, maybe I will. So that's the thing you need to do right now. You need to stop listening to this stupid show. Go to facebook.com slash groups slash go away PLA and vote on a challenge that I need to do. I really need some goals in my life, so this will be perfect for me. I'm sure this is what my psychiatrist meant when he said I need some goals. So everyone, please go do that. I have a request here from someone who didn't sign the email and has a weird email name, so maybe I'm just not supposed to say it. But this guy, he says, I was at my parents' house tonight doing tech support for my dad's tablet, and I found their 2016 neighborhood directory. The neighborhood is called Fallingbrook, and it's a group of condos. I took pictures of all the pages, and I'm going to send them all to you. And he did that in five separate emails. Thanks for not knowing how to put multiple pictures in one single email. You big jerk. Sorry, no, that was uncalled for. I shouldn't call you a jerk. I'm sorry. He says, if you want prank ideas, I'd suggest banning people from the pool for not signing a pledge not to pee or poop in it. And he also has one request for someone not to prank. He doesn't want me to call... Well, I guess I won't say their name, because I know you listeners, you'll go look them up and prank them for me. But he says he doesn't want me to prank them because they're old and they're friendly and they're both dying of cancer. So he'd feel really guilty if I pranked them. So basically he wants me to discriminate against people who have cancer. He thinks that people who have cancer should be exempt from doing pretty much everything in life, including receiving prank calls, I guess. Which, come on, really, don't they need a few distractions here and there if they have cancer? But it's okay, I'm not gonna do it. I won't call the people who have cancer. Even if it would break up the monotony for him, I'm not going to do it. Hello. Hi, is Sally there? This is Sally. Oh, hey, Sally. It's Roy from Fallingbrook. Uh-huh. And uh, we just noticed that you hadn't liked us yet on Facebook. You know you're required to like us on Facebook, right? No. You have to. Yeah, you... you Why? Have, because it's just the rule. It's one of the rules of living here. You need to get on Facebook... And look up Fallingbrook and like us. Okay. When and you then get, what happens? Uh, then, then that's it. You just like us, and that's the end of it. So that I can get information? Is that what the point? No, we don't care about you getting information. We just want you to like us so we look more popular on Facebook. Oh, so you look more popular. Correct, yes. Okay, I can do that. When's that going to happen? Well, not today, because I'm not feeling very well. Oh, come on. Just do, just do it. Come on. I'll try. No, you need to... Do, I'll just... I'll hold while you go do that real quick. No, I'm not going to go do it right quick. Well, come on. I don't do anything that good on the computer You, you should have done this like years ago. I never even heard this before. Who are you? We, we sent out letters. This is Roy from Fallingbrook. I live in Fallingbrook. I know that. On how, how How are you living there and you haven't even liked us on Facebook? Because I never heard this before. Well, it should be common sense, Nobody really. Nobody sent me a letter about it. But it should be common sense. That's just the way it is. You're supposed to like us on Facebook. If you live somewhere, you're supposed to like the place you live. Don't you like where you live? I like it very much. Well, why, why haven't you liked it on Facebook? Because I didn't even know that you were on Facebook, and I <sighs> didn't really... I tell you. Here, I will, I will see you if people. I can get on and find it. You people. But I'm not doing it right this minute. Goodbye. Well, can, can, can you do it... All right, I guess she's gone. Unfortunately, I can't use Google Street View to go into this neighborhood and look at these people's houses because Google Street View just stops at the entrance to their neighborhood. So I can't call and yell at them about their choice of flowers or trees or the dumb shape of their sidewalks. But it's okay. I'll just yell at them about Facebook. Hello. Hello, Sherry? Mm Mm-hmm. Hey, it's Roy. I'm with Fallingbrook. And um, we were just checking out our Facebook today, and it looks like you haven't liked our Facebook page. Really? Yeah, is there any way you could go in and just like our Facebook page? Well, I don't know about that, but 
I'll think about it. Well, Bye. no, no, no. Think about it. Nothing. You, you're. Oh man, who does she think she is? This lady needs to read her rule book. All right. Well, she's not answering, so I guess she's off the hook until they throw her out. Of course, for not liking them on Facebook. Hello. Hey there, John. Yes. Hi, hi, this is Roy from the uh, Falling Brook. And yes. um, I just needed to let you know, we, we noticed this week that you haven't liked us on Facebook yet. You, you know that's a rule, right? You have to like us on Facebook. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. I, uh, let's see. I. You what? Let's see. What are you seeing? Um. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, darn it. I, uh... mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are you looking for? Um, the piece of paper. Oh. The piece of paper. It was, uh, let's see here. God, I sound like I don't know what in the hell straight up and down is. Well, don't you believe me? What piece of paper are you looking for? Message from the President, uh, January 4th, 2016, page one, page two, page three. Wow, it really says message from the President? (laughs) Agreement. That guy's really high at himself, isn't he? Just, let's see, agreement for electric delivery... Of notices and other communications. Well, this, says, this isn't a recent thing. Yes, I thing. agree. And they asked for the email address. This isn't a recent thing. You're, you're supposed to like us on Facebook. This isn't a really old rule. You should just know this. On Facebook? Yeah. Yeah, you haven't liked us on Facebook yet. I don't put much on Facebook. You don't uh, have to. You just have to go to our page and like us. Hit the like button. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Well, you want to get kicked it, out or something? Pardon me? You want to get kicked out of your home? <laughs> Why? Um, well, it's a, it's a rule. If you if you don't like us on Facebook, we can kick you out of here. Just like that. Uh, oh, my goodness. You don't want to get kicked out just for not liking us on Facebook. Let's see. We would also... Um, All right. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. What am I holding for this time? Are you looking for more papers? All right. What um, What am I looking for? Is there? Is it FTOA or is it... What, on Facebook? Yeah. Oh, just look up Glory Hole Donuts. We go into the... Um, mm, okay. Mm. Be- Glory Hole Donuts. Log in or sign up. I'm oh, sure. Ugh. You know what? By the time you get this finished, I'll have already um, done your eviction papers and. Oh my goodness! And, and had all and and I'll have all your stuff just repossessed. You'll be thrown out on the street. All right. Because you're just you're going so um, slow. Holy. Let's crap. see. It says find friends in the upper left. The. Yeah. Just. just okay. Just type. and. Type in the search okay, bar. Okay, and what am I what am I looking for again? Uh, glory Hole Donuts. Glory Hole Donuts. Yep. G L O R Y H O L E D O N U T S. Well, uh, they're Canadian, so it's it, donuts is like D O U G H N U T S. Oh gosh. You know, like donuts. Um. Let's see. Glory Hole Donuts is the first. Uh, Glory Hole, Glory Hole Donuts. Yep, that's is the one. The next, um, and then Glory Hole Donuts, and this has a photograph. Ooh. Um, of a Glory Hole. Glory Hole Donuts, Kokomo, Indiana. Must be the spelling. That, yeah, close enough. Whatever. Just you know. hold on. G L O R Y, no space, H O L E. How do you spell the donuts then? D O U G H N U T S. G H N U T 
S. Close enough. Okay. Let's see here. Corrected spelling. All right. We'll see if this works. Hopefully. Um. Those dumb Canadians. They don't know how to spell anything. This has a bunch of balloons. Oh, colorful, that's that, that works. Colorful. That's good. It's perfect. Is is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. Just like that one. Glory hole donut. Uh huh. Oh, there's Flo Wood. I know, I know her. Um. Yeah, good old Flo. Used to work with her. Quantum. They have nine pictures, of nine donuts. Yep, that's the one. That's definitely the right one. Especially if Flo, it flows in it. Okay. Okay. What am I looking for? Let's oh, the, the like button. Click the like button. The the thumb uh, the thumbs up let's like button. See. Find friends. Um, Here we go again. Four mutual friends. Add a friend. Well, while while you're searching there, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, draft your uh, your eviction papers. What? <laughs> you're not even gonna let me find. Where- well, you're just taking forever. I'm, oh my god, you're gonna take up the whole show or something? No, I'm just, I'm just looking for the, the yeah. entry port here. Excuse me, I gotta type up these eviction forms. Right. Where do I hit friends? Um, uh, search. Find friends. Search for triple X, uh, pornography. Videos. I don't do those. Well, no, you just have to like them. It's part of the the <clears throat> homeowners association. It's okay. It's just just triple X videos backdoor. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Let's see here. People, photos, videos. Yeah, triple X videos. XXX videos. Glory hole donuts. Large uh, boobs. N- next next to it, it says like page. Thumb up like page. Oh, yeah, do that. Do that. Do that? Yeah. Happy pride. Yep, happy pride. Okay, it's checked. Oh, you just made the bell ding. It's checked. Yeah, liked. yeah. I see it coming through on this end. We got green lights across the board. Everything looks fine. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to erase this eviction form that I started. And you will not have to move out after all. Yeah. Okay. So congratulations on your new home. Is that, is that it? Yep, that's it. That's all you had uh, to do is just like gl- gl- glory hole donuts. It makes okay. sense. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, well, you have a nice day. Thank you. I love you. (laughs) He apparently does not love me. Whatever. I don't care. Wow, that took a long time. Hello. Hi, Shirley? Yes. Hey, this is Roy from from the, uh, the, the Fallingbrook condos. Roy. Yeah, Roy. Anyway, I just needed to let you know you haven't liked us on Facebook yet. I don't know. What is your last name? Gerbel. It doesn't matter, though. It doesn't matter. I just needed to let you know you haven't liked us on Facebook. And you have to like us on Facebook. It's one of the rules. Because it's one of the rules. I don't even know you. It's one of the rules of the... Well, you don't have to know me. It's for Fallingbrook. What do you want me to do? Uh, get on Facebook and like us. Go to our page and like us. Like us on Facebook. You, you mean the whole cut subdivision is on Facebook, on your site, on your page? Yeah, yeah. Everyone has to be, because if you don't like us on Facebook, we'll throw you out. We'll throw you out of oh, the neighborhood. Okay. Cut this out. What? No, I'm serious. Damn it, Shirley. Hello? Hi, Stan? Yes. Hey, Stan, it's Roy from Fallingbrook. Yes. And uh, I just needed to let you know, we, we noticed that you haven't liked us on Facebook yet. You, you know you're required to like us on Facebook? What? 
You know, Facebook, the website, you need to go to Facebook and like us on Facebook. It's one of the rules here. Who are you putting on? Uh, well, is this Stan? Yes. Is this Roy? Yeah, Roy from Fallingbrook. Where do you live in Fallingbrook? Uh, uh, why do you need to know that? Why do you need to know me? Well, I don't need to know you. I just need you to go to Facebook and like us. Why? Because that's the rules of living here. If you don't, if you don't no, like us, it on, isn't. It is so. If you don't like us, we'll kick you out. You go right ahead. Oh, you watch me. I'll do it. Sure thing. I will. Just watch me. Wouldn't it be easier just to like us on Facebook, though? No. Yeah, it would. It'd, it'd be so much easier to get kicked out of your home. Roy, what's your last name? It's Gerbel. Gerbel. Yep. You don't have to I get an attitude. Don't get an attitude with me. Just like us on Facebook. That's all. No, I don't want to. Why not? Because I don't like people calling me up, telling me what to do. Well, say goodbye to your home then. You're threatening me. No, I'm not. I'm just. I'm just saying. You you're know that, that. me. That's the rules of Fallingbrook. If you don't like us on Facebook, you're out of oh, here. How do you spell your last name? Uh, it's G H E R B Z. Q-F-3. Amazing. Thank you. So anyway, um, you know, just, just get on Facebook and like us on Facebook. It's not that hard. You just search for Fallingbrook and, you know, hit the like button. Wouldn't that be easier than, than, than just being hard-headed and getting kicked out of your home? You're not going to kick me out of my home. We'll, we'll have you the, can't do that. Oh, yes, we can. We, we have legal How rights. How do you do that? We can also, we can have the bank come over and, and, and confiscate everything. Repossess How do everything. How you do that? They'll repossess everything because you didn't like us on Facebook. And you signed a, uh, you signed a contract. Funny. You're really funny. I'm not, I don't have a contract with I'm the bank. I'm not trying to be funny. This no, is fully independent. No, I'm not saying with the bank. You have a contract with Fallingbrook, though. No, I don't. Oh, yes, you do. You, there's rules you have to follow. Yes, I do, but you haven't given me any rules in writing on the in the uh, charter. When you first moved here, it was it was in it was in writing that you have to like us on Facebook. What what's the chapter? What's the designated location of that uh, rule? I don't have to tell you. Just look it up. Look in your rule oh, book. Oh, so it do, it doesn't exist. Well, you you told you me there weren't any rules, so you, you can't do it. Oh, I can do anything I want. I'm with Fallingbrook. God damn it! Oh, you're cursing. I can curse if I want. I'm with Fallingbrook. No, you're not with Fallingbrook. I am so. I work here in the office. How are you with Fallingbrook? I work here in the office, and I, I'm just I'm checking you up on... You work here in the office. You know what? Yeah. There is no Fallingbrook office. Oh, yes, there is. You just don't know where it is because you don't work here. Yes, I do. Okay. I've been on the board. Okay, where is I it then? I know exactly where it is. Well, where is it then? Where is the office that doesn't exist? It's none of your business. Oh, so now, it, now it exists. It, if you don't know where it is... I'm not going to tell you. Now you're pretending it's real when you just said it doesn't exist. <laughs> you got to be kidding. No, that's really what you just did. There's an office. Yeah, I know there's an office. Who's I'm the in it. Who's the manager of this place? I'm in it, you big stupid. Who's the manager of this place? Why, why are you throwing a? Why are you putting up a big fight like this? Why don't you just like us on Facebook? Because you're a dick. You're a you're dick. You're a real prick. No, you're a prick. No, you're the one. No, you're you the started it. No, you started it by not liking us on Facebook. You've had two years to comply. And he just hangs up on me. That's that's it. I'm going to type up his his eviction forms here on the internets. All right. There we go. Let, let me print it out. Yep, he's out of here. Thinks he can just not follow the rules like everyone else does. By the way, you guys know why I'm doing this Facebook thing, right? Because I know I mentioned it kind of quickly on a, a show a few weeks ago. And a bunch of people sent me this uh, news story that happened about a month ago. And it's titled, Tenants of a Utah Apartment Complex Furious Over New Facebook Requirement. And the article says, Tenants of a Utah Apartment Complex are furious over a new condition on their leases that was implemented last week. 
Tenants at City Park Apartments in Salt Lake City were given a notice on their doors about a contractional add-on involving Facebook. According to the document, the new leasing agreement mandates that the tenants must friend the complex on social media site within five days or be found in violation of their lease. I don't want to be forced to be someone's friend and then threaten to break my lease because of that. It's outrageous as far as I'm concerned. A tenant named Jason Ring whined to the reporters. The document also has a release that permits the property to post pictures of the tenants and their visitors on its Facebook page. Holy crap, that's insane. The New York Daily News reported that unhappy tenants have visited the facility's Facebook page to bash them instead of to friend them. One of the reviews says dropping in and giving you one star because you act like a bunch of Nazis. Zachary Meyer is an attorney who specializes in tenants' rights, told the station that the new contract might not be fair to those who don't have a Facebook account, and that it's also discriminatory against elderly and disabled individuals. I don't know about that. All these old people, they sure seem to know what Facebook is, even if it takes them forever to get on there and like something. Let's go to their Facebook page and see what kind of reviews they have. It sounds like a big Facebook mob. Here's one from Sharon. It says, These apartments are roach-infested, overpriced, not maintained, run-down, broken, outdated facilities, unsafe, management allows vagrants and transients to sleep in and use drugs in the pool bathrooms and laundry rooms. This is a one-star review. And I'm kind of thinking that maybe she's making some of this stuff up. Oh, look at that. Sharon doesn't even live in Salt Lake City. And I don't know. There's a bunch of reviews on here and a bunch of reactions. But anyway, that's why I'm telling these homeowner people that they have to like us on Facebook. Hello. Hi, Marilyn. Yes. Hey, Marilyn. This is Roy from Fallingbrook. Who? Roy from Fallingbrook. Oh, okay. And we've noticed that you haven't liked us on Facebook yet, and you're, you're supposed to... Oh, I don't have Facebook. Well, you need to sign up for an account. Um, you, you can't just not like us when, when you're living here. <laughs> well, I know, but I don't... Uh, don't you have to have a, the, the computer and all that set yeah, up? Yeah, or? you're going to have to buy a computer and get a, an, an internet account and get on Facebook. Why, why do you say I have to do that? Well, it's one of the rules, and if you don't like us on Facebook, we'll throw you out. <laughs> I have a computer. I just can't see right now. Oh, well, you need to... I'm having a lot of eye problems, and so I just don't get... Well, just put on your glasses and get on Facebook and like us. I wish it were that easy. I would. Uh, it's it's not that easy for me. Oh, well, come on. You, you can... You've had, like, years to figure this out. Well, I didn't say I couldn't figure it out. I said I can't see. Well, um... There's a difference. Well, get on your... My eyesight. Get on your computer and turn on the accessibility options for handicapped people, and it'll it'll just talk to you instead of you having to look at the screen. Well, I don't know who I have to do that with. Uh, you just get on there, and and, and um, it's it's all voice-activated. Okay, just, just Roy, what's your last name? En- enable accessibility options. Say that to your computer right now. No, I can't. I, I'm. I can't. I, my computer's downstairs. I'm upstairs. Well, you can. You uh, can Roy, it, what's your last it name? It can hear you from upstairs. Just yell real loud. Computer, turn Would on. Would you answer me, please? Sh- sure. What's the question? I ask you what your last name was. Oh, my last name is Jerbel. Jerbel, where do you live out here? Uh, well, I'm here in the neighborhood. I'm, I'm way down the street. Well. I'll think about it, okay? Well, no, you don't get to think about it. We'll throw you out if you don't like us on Facebook. Uh, well, uh, I'll think about it, okay. Well, y- you. you need to think about where you're going to live next. Okay, I can do that, too. All right, you better, because, right. you know, it, you. it's a rule. It's the law. Okay, all right. Okay. Thank you. Bye. It's amazing how many of these people prefer to live on the streets than to just get on Facebook and like their page. Come on, people, how hard is it? Just get on there and click the like button. And if you don't have a Facebook page, it only takes a few minutes to set one up, right? Hey, Brad, it's Olga. Hey, Olga. I have a joke for you. Holy shit. Here it goes. Okay. What did the cactus, cactus, and the cactus? The cactus from cactus, cactus. Okay, I really don't have a, jo- a joke today. What? I'm just bored. I, I, I thought it was funny. I thought it was hilarious. Now you're telling me it's not even real? Yeah, you know, sitting around, bored. Yep. 
thinking of you. Yep. What? Thinking of your phone. Oh yeah, good save. Nah, good. fuck this shit. Bye. Good save, Olga. Hi, Brad. I'm Don from 609. Hey, Sorry Don. about the other two messages. I'm at work and I got distracted. Yeah, whatever. But uh, I have an idea for the show. All over my town, I see signs that say "I buy houses," "I want your house," etc. Mm-hmm. Why not have the listeners hang pony signs around their towns with your number on it? Yeah. Firing hobos want to sell their houses for fast cash. Maybe after Ding Timber, we can have Hobo Tober. Just a thought. Love the show, honey baby. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Well, I definitely love the name Hobo Tober. Hey, Brad. It's Nico. I'm just hey, calling Nico. because I left you uh, apartment ideas in your um, in the proper channels mm-hmm. through voicemail or not voicemail through email and other. Um, your submission form and stuff, and yep. you never get to my ideas, and you're doing all these apartment calls. Can you just check your email, please? Thank Sorry. you. Sorry. Bye. Jeez. Yeah, I'm sure the email is there. It's just that I'm getting too many of them is the problem. So just don't ever stop listening to the Snowplow Show. I'll probably get to your idea within the next, I don't know, within at least the next half decade. I'm pretty sure I'll get to your stuff by then. So don't lose hope. Don't stop listening to the Snowplow Show. I definitely see all of my emails. There's just way too many of them right now because I'm just so damn popular, you know? And I seriously am working on trying to uh, just get better at the whole email thing, trying to get a better system set up and everything. So I really, really am sorry. If for, for anyone out there, if you send stuff in and I don't get to it, I'm definitely sorry that I'm not getting to your stuff. Everyone's stuff. That, you know, everyone that sends stuff in. But I will eventually, especially uh, when this show really takes off and I'm doing like, you know, 12 shows a week, then I will definitely get to everyone's requests. Hey, Brad, go fuck yourself. You hey. won't respond to my emails. You am not to fucking help you out, you fucking asshole. Jeez. You're- Definitely it's only lose to America because America. Fuck America. Fuck America. Hey. We're from Austria. We're from Austria. No, Aww. I'm not. Isn't that cute? Your girlfriend doesn't have her own opinions. He's not. Like I am. But he's Whatever. Not. You're being Whatever. you're you're being a fucking yeah. piece yeah. of shit, Brad. You fucking are. Carter. And I I, we did, love you. I I I did my research because I, yeah. I, I, I know stuff. You listen to Curtis. Um I know you're really not Brad. You went to your library because I'm I'm really Franklin Gardner from Tennessee. Because uh, you know that I still like that. But no, yeah, yo, yo, yo fu- you. fucking Brad, dude. You know what? what? Fucking call me back or whatever. Email me. Call him back. We love you. I was just trying to fucking help you out for free. I didn't want anything mm-hmm. back in return okay. because I'm also a phone loser of America. I'll get right on um, that. So go fuck yourself. Well, I fucking fine. hate you. Fine. And I think that I you sound then. like shit in your snowpaw shows of whatever the recent pod. <laughs> His voicemail just cuts off talking about how I sound like shit and he can't even leave a voicemail. What a big dummy. And look, I'm sorry. I don't know what you're referring to in the email. Like I've said, you know, I've just, my, my email is just out of control. And someday I will get to all of my emails. Actually, I'm going to work on them a bunch this evening. And try and catch up on Dr. some things. Brad. Hey, Corbin, Corbin guy. Hey, I Corbin have guy. Awesome things to say, but I discovered some really fucking awesome today. Okay. Um, do you know those uh, cheap Walmart phones? I uh, do. I, I've been looking for some of those recently, so you better have something awesome to tell me because I haven't had much luck. Well, they were cheap. Uh, the little LG Android. Yeah, they're like forty bucks now, aren't they? I think you Walmart make your soundboard with and such yep. and such. Yep. But if if you uh, go to the, um, the 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 browser, the web browser setting, mm-hmm. and it shows that you're offline, and it has a little dinosaur. Now, Ooh. the interesting thing I discovered: if Ow, you, Jesus if you tap on the dinosaur, the fuck one, was that? He will jump, and then he will start running, and then a whole bunch of cactuses appear in front of him. What? And it's a little game. Every time you touch the screen, he jumps. He jumps over cactuses. It's a little Tyrannosaurus jumping over cactuses. That's bizarre. That's cool. I'm already up to 711 plus points. Oh, congratulations. So, uh, yay! I am going to have to That's try that fun. out. Uh, Bart, cactus. Oh, here he goes again. Cancer. All right, thanks, Corbin guy, for calling in. I'm going to look on my phones right now and look for the little dinosaur thing. Oh my gosh, he's right. I'm a dinosaur, and I'm jumping over cactuses. And my game is over. I've already died. 
but I'm playing it like it's 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 mounted up on a shelf, so I'm having a hard time seeing the screen from way over here. I'm using the phone that I use for background music during my shows. Oh, which reminds me, I could just turn on the sound and you guys can see what the sounds like if there's any sound. Let's find out. There. Oh, I just died. Yep, it makes beeps when you jump over cactuses. Just like in real life. Ah, I'm dead. My high score is 46. So if you want to see an amazing dinosaur game, jump over cactuses. You need to go find a uh, LG Surprise cell phone at your local Walmart or or on uh, Amazon or eBay. I was looking on Amazon or eBay and I was finding them for less than $10 now. Used to, they were selling for 10 bucks at Walmart, but I think the last time I checked, they were 30 or 40 bucks. So I looked online and they have them for, I don't know, between 5 and $8 online on eBay and Amazon. So if you're looking for a cheap Android cell phone that is pretty slow and won't run any high-end apps... Then you're in luck. Look for the LG Surprise. Or, no wait, I think it's LG Sunrise, not Surprise. What am I talking about? Thanks, Corbin Guy. I'm going to start playing this dinosaur game during shows. Hi, Alex. Nova here. Hey, Nova. I have Nova. a challenge for you. Holy shit. Call 7-Eleven, guest relations, and see how many times they will say security violation at you. Also, you just lost the game. Bye. Damn it. I lost the game somehow. Yeah, you should go to the Facebook group and add your suggestion onto the poll. Hi, Brad. Mr. Carter, I'm afraid to inform you that I have turned state's evidence against the phone losers of America. Ah, shit. I had a choice. I had. I could either sell I knew, out Carlitos... I kn- knew this day was coming. ...or sell out phone losers. Yeah. And, well... I respect your choice. Phone losers has been sold out. Quick. Yep. I feel guilty. Run, Brad. It's Run. okay. It's all right. Run. Thank you for the warning. At least you called and warned me, so that's the important thing, and I really appreciate it. Hey, Brad. It's Reverend Afro. Hey. I Reverend Afro, what? I was at the show a while back ago, and you had called a store, and you had told them that you had bought a lamp, and that you intended to return the lamp, but instead of returning the box and the lamp, you were just going to return the box and fill the box with dog shit so that it felt like the lamp was still in there. I remember this. You should do that again. That's I will. A lot more fun. That's a lot funnier than since I dog calls. No offense. Oh come on, you fucking idiot! Uh, I'm gonna combine the two. I'm gonna call his sensei Doug and try and return my lamp. Oh so, yeah, you should do that again. Okay, I Bye, will. Fucking jackass! Just watch me. I'm gonna do it right now. Thank you for calling our Belvo Kmart store. How can I help you today? Hi. Uh, I just I, I was in there the other day and I did a, a return. Uh huh. And, um, well, it was, it was a big thing of laundry detergent. It was like $23. Oh, okay. And, but instead of laundry detergent, I just filled it up with water. But now, now my brother, he's telling me that that's, we're not even supposed to do that. But I don't think he's right. You filled the what up with water? I filled the laundry detergent up with water. It was like a liquid la- laundry detergent. So, uh-huh. so I emptied out the laundry detergent into a bucket in my laundry room and then right. I, I I filled up the laundry detergent thing with water and I got a full refund for it. No, that is not legal. What? No, it's not against the law. It's, it's Is it? Yes, it is. Well, it, Because it's, you did not return the product that you bought. Well, I returned the, the container and that's the part that has the UPC code on it. Yes, but that's not the product that we sold you. Well, it almost is because there was still it, it still bubbled up a bunch because there was lo- a lot of detergent on the on the sides of the bottle. No, that's not the thing. It it did not have the product that you that we sold to you. But it, it's it'll it'll still work good enough. Like, did you put it back no, on the? No, sh- it will not. Did- it's a percentage of the uh, detergent is no longer uh, viable. Did you put it back on the shelf? It must have been if they thought it was a full bottle of regular laundry detergent. I bet you the people that buy it, they won't even notice because it's got bubbles in it. No, that is that is uh, stealing. No, it's not stealing. It's yes, not. Yes, I'm it's afraid not. it is. No, Would you like I, to talk to our security guy? He will tell you. They, you know what? They didn't even have Kmarts back in the Bible days. So that, that's not a part of the Ten Commandments, so it doesn't count. No, that was stealing, sir. Yeah, but I don't. I don't just see. Letting it. you know, I don't if see it in you the Bible. Are a Christian person, you just stole something. I didn't steal though. I didn't steal. I gave you the yes, bottle you back. You did. What you gave us was not what was in the product. But you couldn't tell. That was not in there. You couldn't tell. They they were they were completely nice about it. They told me to have a nice day, and 
Gave yes, me my money back. They thought you returned laundry detergent. They did not know that you returned water. I like how you say water. Yes, that's water because the amount of laundry detergent that was You're in there diabetic. is negligible. Negligible. Oh wait, wait. I'm sorry. What's negligible? The amount of detergent that was left in the bottle mm-hmm. is negligible to what it was originally in the bottle. Yeah, you know, I left, I, but uh, I don't. I, I just don't see what the big deal is. Next, you're going to tell me that the next person that buys it is going to have water with a little bit of suds. Yeah, and but they will think the product does not work. Next, next, so I now have to go onto the counter and find the product and pull it off, so that that person will not be. Unfortunately, dissatisfied with that product. That I, is stealing. Next, you're going to tell me that I, I can't buy kitty litter there and, and return it with filled up with gravel. No, you cannot do that. It's the same thing. No, it isn't, sir. It basically and is. I, I know you think you're... I don't know if you're punking me or not. No. But what you're telling me is illegal. No, it's not illegal to say things. You know. It's not illegal to say things. Uh, but it is to steal the product and return it with something that is essentially, you know, like a non-item. But they probably in, in return water. They, they won't even notice. And I will let me hold on, and I'll let you talk to our security guy. If you hold on, please. Okay. Breaking news, everyone. Kmart still has security guys at their stores. I didn't think they even had customers there, but apparently they have so many that they need a security guy. Loss prevention. Hey there. Um, I'm not sure why she transferred me to you. I was just telling her about uh, an issue that I had with return. What's the issue? Well, I, I I bought some laundry detergent, like a big container of it, and I I returned it to the store, but I kept the laundry detergent. I just filled it up with water. And and she's Please trying look. she's trying to tell me you can't do that. I mean, you can't do that. Well, I did. It worked. They gave me a full refund. All right. So why are you calling to tell us that you did it? Well, my brother was trying to tell me that's illegal, but he's full of crap. It is illegal. That's stealing. No, it's not stealing. It I- is because you purchased something and you brought it back in the tension of that it, it wasn't used. Well, she didn't, you got money back for it. She didn't even ask me if it was used. I, I'm just like, I just don't want it. And she's like, okay. She gave me back my twenty three ninety nine. Okay, do you know what kind it was? Uh, no, it was an orange label. Okay, I'll, I'll go look for it, thank you. Well, wait, why are you going to look for it for? I, I don't think they'll even notice if they buy it and it's just water. Yeah, but that's, that's a disc. we can't do that. That's not the way we conduct business here. No, it's okay, it's cool, it's fine. Okay. It it really is, it's fine, it's not a big deal, I don't think, because I left a little bit of soaps, soap in there, soap bubbles. So th- they'll think it's just regular detergent. It'll work just okay. as well. All right. You know, it's it's fine. Okay. What? what? <laughs> well, that guy was definitely less entertaining than the previous lady. I don't know why I picked Kmart, you guys. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Thank you for calling your Iowa City Kmart. How may I help you? Hi, is this the return desk? Uh, yeah, it sure is. Okay, I just needed to find out um, if I can return kitty litter. Uh, is it opened? Um, yeah. It, the bag was already opened? Kitty litter? It's a box, yeah. Okay. It was, oh, it was a box of it. Um, yep. hold on one second. Okay. Uh, please. Uh-oh. Is that the I'm transferring you to security tone? Sir? Yeah? Um, with things like that, once they're opened, um, we're not... Uh, able to accept any return on them, unfortunately. Oh, well, I'm, I'm going to tape them back shut. See, I was just going to, um, I mean, I've used up all the kitty litter, and I have all these extra mm-hmm. boxes, and I was just going to mm-hmm. fill them up with sand out of my backyard. Mm-hmm. I have a bunch of sand in the back. Uh, yeah. And I think that'll be just as good, and I'm just going to get a refund on six boxes at once. Okay. Um, yeah. I know we couldn't, yeah, I mean, with something like that, once it's opened... It just—it's against our. Yeah, but I—I I think I, I can op- i can seal it so you won't even notice. I have a uh, shrink wrap machine. 
Okay. Do you want me to transfer you to a manager? No, that's okay. Uh, I'm, I'll well, just. I mean, I mean, I'm happy to do it. It's just that I'm like, I'm just a service desk associate, so I wouldn't be able to make the call on that. But if you okay. want me to transfer you to a manager, they could, they would be able to like. Well, I think I'm just going to do this on the DL. I think I'm just going to bring in all my kitty litter, and just bring it to the service okay. desk, and I won't tell them I opened it because they don't look opened. Okay. And and I'll just I'll I'll give it back to them and get my money back, and there'll be boxes filled with dirt, dirt and sand. Alrighty. But so right. so don't are are you gonna tell anyone? Like, can you not tell? Um, them? I'm not able to make any. Um, don't be a snitch, man. I'm not able to make any decision on this. Well, yeah, you are. You're you're uh, you're an adult. You can make a decision. Just don't don't do it. Don't tell anyone that I'm on my way. Can I go ahead and put you on hold? Yeah, why? What are you going to do? Um, I can transfer to a manager, or I can just, uh, if there's nothing else I can help you with, I can... Oh, okay, I'll talk to a manager. That sounds hilarious. All right, please hold. Okay. Kmart loves to transfer you. They're still trying to get their money's worth on this high-tech hold system that they set up with the beeping and all that. Oh, that's weird. He hung up on me. I wonder why. Was he listening to me or something? You're welcome. Thanks for calling me. Okay, Kmart. This is Tammy. Can I help you? Hey, Tammy. Um, I was in there earlier. I, I bought a, a, a lamp. You know? Okay. I bought a lamp. And um, okay. I, I brought it home, and, and I set the lamp up and everything. You know, and it, it works just fine. It, it's doing good. Okay. But then I, I came back later with just the box, just like an empty lamp box and, and some packaging materials, and I returned it and got a full refund. So you need to leave, bring the lamp back? No, no, I don't. I, I just, I don't know. I thought it was really clever what I did, and I don't have anyone else to brag to, so I just wanted to call and tell you. That's what I did. Well, good job. Good going. Thank you. Are, are you the All per- right. Are you have the, a good day. Are you the person that gave me the refund? Don't know. What time did you come in? Uh, I don't know. Maybe two hours ago is when I did the refund. Were you there? I'm trying to think here. <laughs> two hours ago, three thirty, one thirty. I probably was. Okay. Well, if that was you, I just wanted to, wanted to thank you for the free lamp. It looks really good here in my living room. A free lamp. I you returned one without one in it. Yeah, yeah, I returned just an empty box with some packing packing material and stuff in it. Why are you calling and saying that, though? Then you need to bring the lamp back, then. No, no, I don't think you understood what I was saying before. Um, I, I just wanted to call in and brag because I was able to get away with it, and now I have a free lamp. Well, that's in- not that's not right, then. You need to bring that lamp back in. But it looks really awesome. It's, it's here in my living room. Sir, you need to bring um, the lamp back in, then, because all- I don't remember doing that. You don't remember returning the lamp today? No, I don't. Okay. And I was also, I, I felt kind of bad because the next person that buys that lamp, they're just going to get an empty box. That's and not right. When you return something, you have to bring back that item. Well, maybe you should have checked the box. Let me get you my manager. Hold on. What for? Uh-oh. This can't be good. This is Sean. Can I help you? Hi, um, I was transferred by the return desk, I guess. I, I'm not sure why she transferred me to you. Okay, what can I do for you? I I'm don't know. Did, did she tell you anything, or, or what what'd she no. say, say about me? No, nope, she just said Sean Line 1. Oh, okay. Well, I was just telling her how I, I bought a lamp earlier today. And, okay. And, and then I, I, uh, I, just, I, I set it up in my living room, and it looks really awesome. And then I, I brought the empty box back and got a refund for it, for just an empty box. Okay, what was your name? My name is Sensei Doug. What is it? Sensei Doug. Okay, why would you return an empty box? To get my money back. It it was like uh, 1998 was the price. But you kept the lamp, so you stole the lamp? Well, I didn't steal it. I I, I paid for it. I paid cash for it. Right, and then you returned an empty box and got your money back, and you have the lamp at your house? Yeah, yeah, and I returned the packing material, and I put a few um, just random odds and ends from my kitchen in the box to weigh it down. Exactly. So did you want to come back and pay for the lamp you have, or do you want to bring the lamp back? No, I don't, I don't want to bring the lamp back. 
because it looks really good here in, here in my living room. Okay. So do you want to come back in and pay for it then? No, I, I really would rather not do that because it was almost $20. And Okay, so why are you calling me? That's, that's like three McDonald's breakfasts. Okay, so why are you calling me? Uh, I just wanted, I, I didn't have anyone else to brag to about it, and I just wanted to call someone and tell them what I did. Okay, so what was your name again? Uh, Sensei Doug. Could you spell and, that for me? Uh, just Sensei, the common spelling. Also, there's a, a lamp on your shelves that's just an empty box, so you might want to take that lamp out. Okay, so, how do you spell your name again? Uh, just common spelling of Sensei and then Doug, D-O. Okay, I don't know what the common spelling for Sensei is. Uh, S-E-N-S-E-I. Doug, D-O-U-G? Yes, yep. What's your address, Doug? Sensei? Uh, my, n- no, I, you don't need to know that. Why, why would you need to know my address? Because we're, we're going to call the cops if you stole the lamp from us. Well, why would I give you my address then? I don't want the cops called <laughs> on me. Why are you calling me telling you you stole a lamp from me? What's your phone number? No, I was just kidding about the whole stealing thing. <laughs> I, I didn't even buy a lamp. Then, then why are you calling me? Just to just to make a, a nuisance of myself, I guess. I see that. Have a good day. <laughs> Thanks, you too. Okay, I think I've done enough of these return calls. More than enough of these. And I think my show's gotten a little sidetracked from the original thing, so fuck it, I'm just gonna quit. We're quitting the show, the show's over. But thank you, anonymous person who sent me all of those um, weird Falling Brooks condo things. I still have several pages of those left, and I'm definitely going to get to those soon. But I kind of think I should call more in the evening, because nobody seems to be home in the daytime. I had a ton of people not answer. So anyway, thanks all of you for listening to today's show. Thank you, Gizmo, for sponsoring the show today. Remember to go to the PLA Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash PLA and vote on the, the challenge thingy. So you can decide which wacky thing I'm going to make a person do next. You know, like get a person to break out their windows or smash the sprinklers in their hotel room. You know, stuff like that. For the end of today's show, I've got a real special treat for all of you guys. This is a brand new song. This is a world premiere of this song by Dr. Phil. This is called PLA Killed the Prank Star. This is a song for all the prank call victims. Because you're not victims. Your stars. I heard you on the website back in 02. Lying about rules that you said you wouldn't do. Pac Bell couldn't stop you coming through. Oh, oh. Accepting credits for your quarter red box tones Pranking away from the stolen burner phones Now I understand why people used to moan Oh, oh, met Mildred Monday Oh, oh, what did her son say? PLA killed the prank star PLA killed the prank star Roger Bell went too far Oh, uh, 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 oh. And then they met in an abandoned Circle K. We played recordings where he called her son gay. And in an instant, she met her doomsday. Oh, oh, he killed Mildred Monday. Oh, oh, like John Bunnay. PLA killed the prank star. PLA killed the prank star. He made Dino blow his stack and gave grouchy old man a heart attack. Uh, PLA killed the prank star. PLA killed the prank star. RBCP smoked some crack. Then Joe Lanta called him whack. Now Andy Anderson will get him back. And you put it on the media pack. Who knows? Maybe Richard Cardo. Who knows? Maybe Richard Cardo. PLA killed the prank star. PLA killed the prank star. PLA killed the prank star. 
PLA killed the prank star. PLA killed the prank star. PLA killed the prank star. PLA killed the prank star. PLA killed the prank star. PLA killed the prank star. PLA killed the prank star. It's not, there's no such thing as a poodle file.